and dining. We're going to have another episode of Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about rear E92 335 Coney shock absorbers. So most rear Coney shock absorbers have to be bottomed out to be adjusted. There's a valve that engages at the bottom, you collapse the shaft, you turn it to adjust it, and that makes the shock stiffer or softer. The problem with that is you have to take the shock out of the car every time you want to adjust it. It's really a bummer if you put the whole suspension to get together and you decide you've made it either too soft or too stiff for your liking. Now you've got to either do all that labor yourself or go in and pay somebody to do it. And if they adjusted the wrong amount, you have to take the car back apart again. A lot of money. Okay, so what we did to make it easy for you, we made a larger diameter shaft in the shock and made it hollow and put an adjuster in the shock so it can be adjusted with the shock in the car. Something else with a Dynan Coney shock absorber is we increased the travel. There's a bump stop that goes on here. And this bump stop bottoms out against the shock body when you hit a big bump. But it's also a progressive spring. The end of it is very soft, and it gets stiffer as you get near this end. You want this thing to have a little bit of space so when you're hitting light bumps in the road, it doesn't touch down. But when the car's loaded up in the corner, we want this to touch down and add to the spring rate and make the car stiffer. That's why we get a good ride quality, as well as getting good handling. When you lower a car, this gets closer to the shock absorber. You can shorten it, but you can only shorten it so much. And then the progressiveness of the bump stop goes away because it doesn't have enough travel. It's just too short to work properly. So what we do is we put a thin mount on the bottom and a thicker mount on the top with an aluminum spacer. And what this does is this moves the bump stop up inside the body. So when the car is lowered, you still have travel. This way you can lower your car down so it looks cool and has the travel of a stock car and the ride quality of a stock car. The performance without sacrifice at Dynan is, there's no need to give up ride quality to lower your car and make it handle good.